So this is an example of a snow leopard's um, bone structure. The reason why I typically, for the animals, I look up their bone structure so that I can get their movements and speed accurate to their um, actual animal form. So typically I would look up muscle structures, bone structures, information on how fast they move and things like that. When it comes to supernatural characters, I look up sketches that people have made or where people imaginary bone structures or things like that to get a sense of what their structure would look like when it comes to describing them. So, I was looking at trying to find some drawings of mermaid anatomy for my science, and I found this beautiful illustration of a bone structure someone drew um, of mermaid's um, skeletal system because my sirens, just like some of the old um, folk painting and lore I found about them, some have sirens with the mermaid tails, like with the mermaid tails and duck legs coming out of the pelvis and wings coming out of the hips. But my sirens do not have the duck legs, they just have the mermaid's tail and the wings coming out of the hips. Which thankfully this illustration has that, so I was able to like, get a sense of the structure, so how they would move and things like that. But my sirens do not have the fins on the arm or the back. But everything else is accurate, so I use this for visual station and things like that. And like with anything I try to find, <clears throat> some form of anatomy to make it seemed accurate and realistic. So this is the end of the story of the four sections and the end of the segments. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. Ciao, Bellas.